Welcome to Frank Speaks. In this very video, we're out to explore the history and the story of this American hero. Ronald McNee was an American NASA astronaut and physicist. He died at the age of 35 during the launch of Space Shuttle Challenger on mission STS-51L, in which he was serving as one of the three mission specialists in a crew of seven. Proud to the Challenger disaster, McNee flew as a mission specialist on XTX-41B on board Challenger from February 3rd to 11th of 1984. Becoming the second African-American in space, McNee was born on October the 21st of 1950 in Lake City, South Carolina. To Pell M. and Carl C. McNee, he had two brothers, Carl and Eric A. McNee. In the summer of 1959, McNee refused to leave the segregated Lake City Public Library without being allowed to check out his books after the police and his mother were called. McNee was allowed to borrow books from the library. The building that housed the library at the time is now named after him. A children's book, Ron's Big Mission, offers a fictionalized account of this event. The McNeese brothers, Carl wrote, McNeese official biography, in the spirit of Ronald E. McNee, astronaut, an American hero, graduated as a valedictorian of Carver High School in 1967. In 1971, McNee received a Bachelor of Science degree in Engineering Physics from the North Carolina Agriculture and Technical State University in Greensboro. At North Carolina A&T, he studied under Professor Donald Edwards, who had established the physics curriculum at the university. In 1976, McNeil received a PhD degree in physics from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology under the guidance of Michael Field, becoming nationally recognized for his work in the field of lesser physics. That same year, McNeil won an AAU Karate Gold Medal. He would subsequently win five regional championships and earn a fifth degree black belt in karate. McNeil received the four honorary doctorates as well as a scores of fellowships and commendations. He became a staff physicist at the Hughes Research Lab in California. McNeil was also a member of Omega. In 1978, McNeil was selected as one of the 35 applicants from a pool of 10,000 from the NASA astronaut program. He was one of the several astronauts recruited as part of the NASA effort to increase the number of minority and female astronauts, McNee flew as a mission specialist on XTS-41B on board Challenger from February the 3rd to 11th of 1984, becoming the second African-American to fly in space. Following the XTS-41B mission, McNee was selected for STS-51L as one of the three mission specialists in a crew of seven. The mission launched on January the 28th of 1986. He and other six crew members were killed when Challenger disintegrated nine miles above the Atlantic Ocean, 73 seconds after liftoff. McNee was initially buried at Rest Lawn Memorial Park in Lake City, South Carolina. His remains were removed in 2004 and moved to Ronald E. McNeil Memorial Park located elsewhere in Lake City. McNeil was an accomplished saxophonist and jazz enthusiast. Before his last faithful space mission, McNeil worked with French composer and performer. It was intended that McNeil would record his saxophone solo on board the Challenger, which would have made McNeil's solo the first original space of music to have been recorded in space. The recording was never made. As the flight ended in disaster and the death of his entire crew, the final track of that very album has subtitled Ron's Peace. Ron was so excited about the piece that he rehearsed it continuously until the last moment. May the memory of my friend, the astronaut, and the artist Ron McNee live on through this piece. McNee was supposed to have taken part in Render Houston concerts through a live field from the orbiting shuttlecraft. McNee was posthumously awarded the Congregational Space Medal of Honor in 2004. Along all crew members lost in the Challenger and Columbia disasters, a variety of public places, people and program have been renamed in honor of McNee. He said, I will wait to the lady and sit on the counter until the police and his mother arrived. And the police officer and the officer said, why don't you just give him the books? which the lady behind the counter reluctantly did. He said, thank you, ma'am. 
as he got the books. The episode, as recalled by his brother, Carl McNee, has been depicted in a short animated film. McNee was married to Charlie McNee and they had two children. Charlie is a founding director of the Challenger Center, which focuses on space science education. Thank you so much for watching this very video on Frank Specs. If you find this video inciting, please do well to like, hit the notification bell, and also to subscribe on this YouTube channel. And as well, drop a comment on how far you enjoy this very video. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully we get to see you in the next video.